Hello, and welcome to a video presentation on percent of change. Here's what you'll learn. How to solve problems involving percent of change. Percent of change is a way to describe how much two numbers change, increase or decrease, in the form of a percentage. Percent of change can be determined by using the following formula. Percent of change equals the larger number minus the smaller number divided by the original number, or the number that's changing. Then we take that fraction and multiply it by 100. Finding percent of change involves subtracting the smaller of the two numbers from the larger number. Then we divide that answer by the original number, or the number that's changing. And that gives us a decimal answer. But since we're looking for percent of change, we need to multiply our decimal by 100 to turn it into a percentage. Let's find the percent of change if 32 is increased to 40, and we'll round our answer to the nearest tenth of a percent if necessary. I'm going to start by writing our percent of change formula off to the side for reference, and the first thing you'll notice is I'm using shorthand for our formula. I'm doing that to save space, so let me remind you of what these terms mean. The percent symbol means percent of change. LN means larger number. SN means smaller number. And ON means original number. Now we're going to use this formula and replace those variables with numbers from the problem. Then we can solve for whatever is missing. Now we're looking for percent of change in this problem, so we're going to keep the percent symbol as is. So let's rewrite the equation now with percent equals. Now the larger number in this problem is the number 40, so let's replace LN in the formula with the number 40. The smaller number is 32, so we'll replace SN in the formula with the number 32. Now our numerator is 40 minus 32. The original number in this problem is 32. It's the one that's being increased to 40. So I'm going to replace ON in the denominator of our formula with the number 32. And don't forget we have to multiply by 100, so our answer becomes a percent. Now let's start solving the problem. In the numerator, 40 minus 32 is 8, so we can rewrite the equation as 8 divided by 32 times 100. When we divide 8 by 32, we're going to get 0 0.25, so let's rewrite the equation now with that decimal in place. We have percent equals 0 0.25 times 100. Finally, converting to a percent, 0 0.25 times 100 will give us 25. So when 32 is increased to 40, that's a 25 percent increase in the number. Let's find the percent of change if 175 is decreased to 25. And again, we're going to round our answer to the nearest tenth of a percent if necessary. I'm going to start again by writing our percent of change formula off to the side for reference. I'll use the shorthand version and I'll remind you again of what these terms mean. The percent symbol means percent of change. LN means larger number. SN means smaller number. And ON means original number. Now we're going to use this formula and replace those variables with numbers from the problem. Then we can solve for whatever is missing. We're looking for percent of change again, so I'm going to keep the percent symbol as is. So I'll start writing my equation with percent equals. Now the larger number in this problem is 175, so I'll replace LN with the number 175. The smaller number is 25, so I'll replace SN with the number 25. And our numerator then is 175 minus 25. Now the original number in this problem is 175. It's the one that's being decreased to 25. So I'm going to go ahead and replace the ON in the denominator of our formula with the number 175. 
don't forget we have to multiply by 100, so our answer will be as a percentage. Now let's go ahead and start solving the problem. 175 minus 25 is 150, so when we rewrite the equation we get 150 divided by 175 times 100. Now when we divide 150 by 175 we're going to get a long decimal answer, 0 0.8571428, and I don't need all of those decimal places. Since we're going to be rounding our answer to the nearest tenth of a percent, we only need three of those decimal places. So let's go ahead and rewrite the problem now, replacing the fraction with a decimal of three decimal places. So I'll have percent equals 0 0.857 times 100. Finally, converting to a percent, 0 0.857 times 100 is 85.7. That means when 175 is decreased to 25, that is an 85.7 percent decrease in the number. Now let's look at a word problem. It costs a bakery $2.87 to make a dozen sugar cookies. The bakery sells the cookies for $5.74 per dozen. What is their percent markup? We know this is a percent of change problem because we want to know the percent increase in the price of a dozen sugar cookies. So let's go ahead and write our percent of change formula off to the side for reference as we always do, so we can plug numbers in in just a moment. Now we're looking for a percent this time, so again we're going to leave the percent in our equation. So let's start writing our equation with percent equals. Now the larger number in this problem is $5.74. The smaller number is $2.87. So we have the numbers for the numerator of our fraction, large number minus smaller number. That's going to be 5.74 minus 2.87. Now our original number is the cost to make the cookies, which is $2.87. So that's going to go in the denominator of our equation, $2.87. And don't forget we have to multiply this fraction by 100, so we end up with a percentage answer. Now let's start solving our equation. In the numerator, 5.74 minus 2.87 is going to give us 2.87. So the fraction simplifies to 2.87 divided by 2.87, and we still have to multiply by 100. Now we know any number divided by itself is just 1. So the equation becomes percent equals 1 times 100, and that's very simple, because we know 1 times 100 is 100. So the answer to our problem is the cookies are marked up by 100 percent. Let's look at one more word problem now. Lauren bought some stock for $38 per share. A few years later she sold her stock for a 30 percent profit. How much did she get for her stock? This too is a percent of change problem with a little twist. We aren't looking for the percent of change in this problem. We know the percent of change. It's a 30 percent increase because the problem says Lauren made a 30 percent profit on her investment. Instead, we're looking for one of the other values in our formula. Now let's go ahead and write our percent of change formula off to the side for reference like we always do. And let's start substituting for what we know. Now the percent is 30. So we're going to replace the percent symbol with the number 30. So let's write down 30 equals. We also know the original number. That's what Lauren originally paid for her shares, which is $38. So let's go ahead and replace ON in the denominator with the number 38. Now we have to figure out the larger and the smaller numbers for the numerator. Since Lauren sold her shares for a profit, that's an increase in price, we would expect the larger number to be the price at which she sold her stock. Now that's what we don't know. That's what we're looking for. So let's use a variable s for the larger number. Then our numerator becomes larger number minus smaller number, which would be s, the larger number, minus 38, the smaller number. 
Now don't forget to multiply by 100. Now since we need to solve for s, we have to cancel out all other numbers on the right side of the equation. We have to cancel out 238 and the number 100. Now let's cancel out the 100 first and we can do that by dividing both sides by 100. So on the right I'll have 100 divided by 100 and on the left I'll have 30 divided by 100. Now on the left 30 divided by 100 gives us a decimal of 0 0.3 and on the right the 100's cancel leaving us with just the fraction s minus 38 in the numerator divided by 38. So one of our numbers is gone now. Next, let's cancel out the 38 that's in the denominator of the fraction. That means we do it by multiplying both sides by that number. So let's multiply the right by 38 and the left by 38. Now on the left, 38 times 0 0.3 is 11.4. And on the right, the 38's will cancel leaving us with just the numerator s minus 38. Now the final step is to cancel the minus 38 that's on the right and we do that by adding 38 to both sides. Now on the left 11.4 plus 38 is 49.4 and of course on the right the 38's will cancel out leaving us with s which is our answer. So now we know Lauren sold her stock for $49.40 per share. Congratulations! You've learned how to solve problems involving percent of change.